Okay, we're going to try this basketball game. Whoa, don't do it like that. You got to press one thing at a time, okay? Today we are going to try old school games. But in this day and age, our boys are obviously used to playing on their iPads all the time, video games. I mean, it's very sophisticated in comparison. So today we're going to see if they can deal with these simpler old school games. So when I was a kid, I would have had some version of this kind of water game where you press a button and the water moves. Do you know what you have to do with this game? You put as many balls as you can into the hole in 30 seconds. Yes, let's do that. I'll time it on my phone, 30 seconds, and see how many balls you can get in the holes. Are you ready, Kieran? Yes. Hold on. Don't start yet. Wait. Go. Yeah. Oh no, my gosh. Uh-oh. It's falling down here. How do I get that? Lift it. It's ripping, it's ripping. So we were looking for old school games and this one is literally old. It's from the 1970s and the stopper doesn't even really fit anymore. So the water was dripping everywhere when we were playing it. <laughs> a bit of a hassle. It's still dripping. Five. Four. Yes. Oh, what about no. these two? Time. Oh, very good. So how many did you get in? Eight. Eight. I actually think the boys quite liked the game. You could see like the concentration on their face when they were playing. And I could imagine them passing a good bit of time playing it. Five, four, three, two, one. How many balls did you get, Ruth? One, two, three, four. Ruth got four and Kieran is the winner. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so I had high hopes for this basketball game, right? So when the ball rests on a particular spot, then he has a number which will move it and he has a number which will move it. So in theory, you're supposed to press that one button. But of course with the boys, that was not gonna happen. Whoa, don't do boys. it like that. You gotta press one thing at a time, okay? So you gotta look for the right number and press one button at a time. So Kieran, the older one, like, kind of gets the concept where there's one button you should be pressing and he looks for the number and you should press that one button. Ruin, the younger one, doesn't really get that concept, so he's just mashing all the numbers at once, uh, which then exasperates Kieran. Stop it, now! So they smash the buttons for a long time. I'm thinking like two or three minutes. And uh, I think at one point I sort of looked away and at that point they scored, unfortunately. So, I'm not really sure who won. Yes. Okay. Well, I did it, actually. You did? No, I did. Okay, we'll go to a video replay on that one. Okay, boys, basketball game. What do you think of it? No, Ruin, what do you think of basketball? What's wrong? Just because you didn't win? But it, was it fun to play and press the buttons? No. So I suppose by this stage, like, maybe it became obvious to Ruin that he wasn't really winning at anything. So I think Ruin was a bit down in the dumps. Right, Kieran, you remember that you're two years older than Ruin, right? You're probably going to be better at Ruin than Ruin. So what do we do whenever we play games? I know. What? Say good game. <laughs> Say good game. And we don't gloat and taunt each other. Okay, next game is called Pick Up Sticks. Do you know how to play this one? No. Okay, so what's gonna happen, we're gonna drop the sticks and they're gonna be in a pile. And then when it's your turn, you have to lift up a stick, but don't move the other sticks. And if you can do that, then you get to keep the stick. And we see who has the most sticks at the end. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. It moved that. It moved the yellow one. Okay, okay, if you move one, then you have to just put it back, okay? I thought it'd be easy. It is not easy. It is really hard. It's like you have to have the dexterity of a surgeon in order to do this game. So I struggle with it. You move! Kieran though was pretty good actually. I think genuinely he would have probably won out of the three of us. Yeah, nice. Rowan, your turn. You should try this green one here. Okay. No, you touch. You move that. I mean, poor Rue, he's, he's only about four years old. I don't think he really has a dexterity for this kind of game. He's a little bit like a bull in a china shop. Is it too difficult, Rue, the pick up sticks? Yeah, it was quite difficult, eh? We're gonna try one other game. Very easy. 
We'll do marbles next. You're gonna roll your ball one at a time, Kieran, then me, then Ru. And if you knock the small balls outside the black, you get to keep them. You gotta stay behind this line. All right. Yes! I think the boys were keen because it involves action, as it were, you know, because you're throwing something, there's going to be a collision, and you also get to keep things. So I think the game appeals to them on many levels. Yeah! Yeah! Ro! Ah, you missed he again! Even. <laughs> I actually quite like this game. I think I'll do it again with them, you know. The boys were both able to do it. Ru was at least able to hit and get some of the marbles. Kieran, of course, was pretty good at it. And I was actually legitimately playing. I didn't, like, give any chance. And the boys were throwing around accusations that I had chosen the best spot to get the best angle. Dad, you're in the middle, you have the best action. That's completely unfounded, that accusation. So I suppose games like this also offer a little bit of counting involved. I got 23, Dada. So on one level, I, I don't want Ruin to feel bad. I worry that he might feel bad that he doesn't have any. So I decided to, oh, combine me and Ruins together. And so I started counting with Ru. And then I realized, I don't know how high Ruin can count. So I was just pushing the marbles over, just waiting to see when this would end. 13, 14, 15, 16, 21, 22. <laughs> you can't do that! No, I'm counting as well, Kieran. 20, 20, 21, 22, 22, 24! Okay, boys, what do you think of marbles? Yes! Good, 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 good! Brilliant! Why do you like marbles so much? Because I won four times. Kieran? It's not all about winning, right? Yeah. Isn't it fun to play, Ru? Fun. I do sometimes worry that playing games at home with the boys might create some difficult expectations, I suppose. On one hand, I'm worried that maybe Ru will just become so used to being in that secondary position, like living in the shadow of his brother, that it might filter through to his personality. I worry about that. I also worry that if Kieran wins everything, and when he goes out into the real world, or he plays against his school friends, who are better than him, that he's going to get very angry and frustrated when he doesn't come out number one every time. So I'm constantly trying to keep those expectations in check, I suppose. I think these games are worth trying, you know, in this modern age. I think they bring a little bit more quiet patience, maybe, to your day. and. Uh, Physically, I think it can help kids. Like, there's dexterity involved in certain games. So, I think those are benefits. All right, thanks for watching. That's our episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to have notifications on when our next video comes up. And get the Click Network app if you want to watch the videos before they go on YouTube.